All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about my, my newest purchase, which came today, and that is the Bushnell Scout DX1000 ARC. I, I thought about doing an unboxing video, but I, I took it out and started playing with it, so, so I'm just going to kind of go from here. And uh, <clears throat> inside the box came uh, the uh, manual, little carry case that has... A magnetic clasp which is gonna be more quiet than velcro a little carabiner on the back and a little little spot you can slide your belt through if you want to wear it on your belt and then came with the lanyard that I already stuck on there but um, here is the Bushnell Scout DX1000 arc pretty nice little rangefinder it uh, I've been looking for one for, for a while now, and I checked out some of the Wild Game Innovation rangefinders, and they just, they fit nice in your hand, but Bushnell's just kind of, it's, it's a product that I've always, I've always had good luck with, so I, I continue to trust them. Um, it fits in the hand real nice, and uh, right there's going to be your power button, and the eye relief on it is... It's really good. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's a six by 21, um, and it's waterproof. So I I prefer hunting. Well, I don't prefer it, but I don't mind hunting in the rain. So so having something waterproof was uh, was really uh, <clears throat> really beneficial to me. Um, here's another button right here, and that's that's what's gonna cycle you through your various modes, which are scan mode bullseye mode which in bullseye mode it's um if you were to if you're gonna range a deer and behind that deer is some brush or trees and you didn't get a clear read on the deer then it's gonna give you the reading of the closer object which is gonna be the deer and then if you cycle through by pushing that button one more time it'll give you brush mode and in brush mode it's it's just the opposite so you know if you had a deer coming out to to uh, one of your shooting lanes and you uh, you want to range him before he got into the lane you could effectively range him through the brush and it'll give you the reading of the deer I haven't I haven't tried that yet so I can't say that it works but um, this is just kind of a video on on the product itself because I when I look through when I'm looking to buy something I like to go on YouTube and and check out some reviews and unboxings and and stuff like that and there just there wasn't anything for the Bushnell Scout DX 1000 art so that's kind of what I'm doing trying to touch on some things right here's where your battery is gonna go and this was the only problem that I've had with it so far is this little stick your finger in there and just flip that up and then you're gonna just kind of unscrew it and the battery comes with this rangefinder at least it did for me but um that just kind of it kind of feels a little cheap and like it might break but hopefully the battery life is really good on it and you don't have to worry about it um some other things, uh, I'll show you the uh, the manual here to kind of touch on a couple other things. Um, in rifle mode, it's still going to have the ARC technology, and you're going to base that on your load. So if you're shooting a 22, 250, Remington, 55 grain, bear claw, you would be in ballistic group G. So when you're setting up your rangefinder, you hold this down for three seconds and you'll be able to cycle through bow and gun or rifle mode. So once you get to rifle mode, you're gonna hit the power button up on top here. And then you'll be you'll be in rifle mode, and then from there you can select, you know, if you're if you're shooting that load that I that I just said, then you would cycle through starting at a all the way down to g and then again you would hit the 
hit the power button to save that. And even if, you know, oh geez, again, um, it is Monday. Um, so even if your load isn't in here, so you know, there's only a handful of different loads. So for me, I'm in Southern Michigan and there's only a select few rifles that we can use down here because I'm, I'm below, there's a line halfway through the state. And uh, so, so I grew up on shotguns, but um, so if your load, if your load isn't on there, what you do is you just sight your rifle in at a hundred yards and then you go to 300 yards or 500 yards and whatever your drop was from 100 to 300 yards it'll put you in a group and then same thing you're just going to cycle through until you get to you know if your bullet dropped 25 to 31 inches you're going to be in group a so you, you cycle through to group a and and then it'll tell you how much drop your bullet's going to have at, at whatever yardage your deer's at when you're shooting um I haven't really tested it as, as far as I can. They, they say it ranges out to a thousand yards, but that's just going to be on something that's giving light back, something shiny or, or something, maybe somebody's house. I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't tried to, to reach out a thousand yards and I don't care if it does because I'm never going to have to. Um, I bow hunt most of the time. So, for me, <clears throat> this was um, this was the better option for me because, like I said about the rain, and and it is waterproof, and um, it just it had a few more options, you know, in case in case I do want to want a rifle hunt, um, then then I can go to the range and I can I can get my grouping, program it into their into the rangefinder basically and um and use it use it off of there so um like i said i i picked this up on sale for for one uh 169 i think it was and um i i got it on ebay um i got it from some some outdoor store in pennsylvania and uh i mean the shipping was super quick i ordered it friday Today's Monday and here it is. Um, the weight of the rangefinder is eight ounces, so it's it's not anything that's that's super heavy. Um, and it comes in real tree or just a black finish. I like the look of the of the real tree look better than the black, but um, it's it's not going to matter if if you wanted to go with black. Um, so after, after this video, what I did is I, I took my GoPro and I just kind of, I set it up to the, to the, um, to the back of that to kind of give you guys a view of what you'll see looking through it. Um, it's, it's really hard for, for one person to sit there and, and cycle through all the, all the different options and everything. But what I did is I just shot my target that I have sitting outside here and um, you know hopefully hopefully that'll that'll come out nice and, and you guys will be able to see the display and everything another thing that I didn't like was and you guys will see when um, when I upload this video and I have that clip toward the end of the video of what you see um, I wish that it the the display would light up like a light red or something to where you could see it in low light conditions it doesn't do that but you know if if you can if you go out and you know at three o'clock or whatever time you guys get in your tree stands in the afternoon go out and just range some trees it's really not that big of a deal i don't think but um maybe it is if, if you're hunting something that's that's wide open if you're out west or or what have you but um but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I didn't I didn't see anything on YouTube 
about this particular rangefinder. So, so hopefully this will help some of you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to feel free to ask and comment, and um, and I'll get back with you. But um, yeah, that's it. And uh, if you guys want to uh, to subscribe for some more videos, hunting, fishing, stuff like that, um, feel free to. And I'll try to bring you guys some new footage. All right, guys. So here's kind of what you'll be seeing if you purchase the uh, Scout 1000 DX. I'm just gonna kind of range uh, my target out there to uh, to show you guys the display. So there, everything's popped up. Hit the power button again. 14.4 yards, negative 10 degree slope, so 14 yard shot. And up in the top right, you can see the bow is selected, so I'm in bow mode. And on the bottom left, that is uh, bullseye mode. So that's that's pretty much what the display is like. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough to uh, to hold this all steady by myself and uh, cycle through the uh in the gun mode and stuff like that so i'm just going to kind of leave it at that but um but yeah there it is so far like i said I'm, I'm happy with it it uh it was in the price range that i was looking for and um it's the, the quality of it seems great so so yeah if you're looking for one feel free to check them out i'm not uh I'm not associated with Bushnell or anything by any means, but um, it's always just been a product I've trusted. So, till the next video, have a good one.